Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to our end of season review. Uh, if you didn't see last episode, we uh, we went down in flames at the end of the season, losing five in a row and seven of our last eight or something like that. It was really bad. So here's our season review. We did stay up though. That's the positive news. So if we take a look by average rating, uh, Christian Souk, 29-year-old striker, five goals, five assists. Chris Natumba, how was he not the signing of the season? Where is our signing of the season? He should be the signing of the season. Oh, well. Uh, he gets a uh, 6.96 rating, 20 goals, three assists in the league. Uh, Ermine Anchik, 24-year-old keeper. He didn't have a bad season, but, you know, just struggled a little bit down the end. It'll be interesting to see who wins that battle this year. Attila Peter uh, went out on loan, but uh, he, he wasn't bad. Didn't pay a lot for him. Uh, 21 appearances out on loan. Alcini Diallo, a hardworking midfielder. We got him on a free. He played well, 26 starts. Marco Marsh, uh, Mar Merrick, remember we had him on loan, I think, the last two seasons, and we finally signed him. Uh, dropped down to 12 starts, five reserve appearances, and Murat Gayek, 28-year-old center back, 11 starts, seven reserve appearances. Those were the transfers in. Transfers out. Uh, Philip Rasmussen for uh, our 30-year-old winger. We get a B-minus grade, 3.4 million, and he was more of a reserve player for Almir City. Yari Stamen, we did get a D. They were disappointed that we allowed him to leave on a free. It was end of contract, uh, and we actually got $77,000. Uh, but he did start 31 times, 6 goals, 12 assists, played pretty well. Cedric De Bruyne, we got a B minus grade, picked up 185,000 for him. Nico Sabuni, 200, 263,000 to go ahead. Uh, 15 starts there. We did get a C minus grade there. Theo Blondell picked up 245,000. Uh, Anas Banu, we got 136,000. Andre Katarov, 116,000 for our veteran uh, midfielder. Uh, Joachim Stursix, 36,000. Sepe Wreckers, 375,000. Uh, Oleg Taruda, he goes off on a free, but they're happy that we released him to get him off the payroll. And Fati Celik, we got 133,000. Hated to lose him, but, you know, it just it gets to that point. 193,000 for Fabian Cohn, another one of our longtime players, departs. Jean Pierre Harms, we picked up 300,000. Julian LaRue, 153,000. Edwin Snip, we got just under 100,000. Ibrahim Kazar, 43,000. And you can see the list here. Uh, McCowie goes out for 1.7. Uh, Hakan Varal, 6.8 as they go to League One sides in Italy and England. Anybody else? Uh, not really. Picked up a little bit of money here. A few guys will recognize. Uh, Regling, Doherty, Kook, uh, but nothing major. But a couple of big names in there. We were supposed to fight bravely against relegation. Finished 11th. We had 86% attendance. And the competition's top scorer was Chris Natumba with 18. So we got mid-table, got a B-minus grade for the year. So pretty happy with that. Biggest win, 5-1 over Eindhoven. 3-0 win over Batessi was a match to remember. And a 2-1 win had the goal of the season by Christian Souk. A goal as he had hit a 28-yard screamer. 1.26 million in sponsorship. That was up significantly, about three-quarters of a million. Broadcast revenue was down just a touch, as was corporate and hospitality. But we made up for some of that in competition prize money, but then gave it back on match day commercial. Diallo was our top-selling jersey. Natumba and DeVries were second and third. 
shed a hole and sook came in four five six hundred and thirty two thousand seven uh, made seven thousand six hundred and fifteen jerseys and sixty three thousand of that was non domestic so uh, in other parts of the world. There's our best 11 was Stretoslav and Natumba up top, Vandermeulen in number 10, Shedahul, Diallo, and Kwesi in the midfield, Shasane, Banachek, Nateb, and Nemeth on the back line, and Anachik in goal. They haven't announced all the awards yet, but uh, fans player of the season, and I noticed that in my other save, uh, they like manager of the year. Uh, in my journeyman, I mentioned I didn't look like I won it. I did end up winning it. It just came later. But club awards, uh, Shedahol was fans player of the season. Nateb was young player of the season. Shasane was signing of the season, which I'm surprised about. I thought Chris Natumba would get that. And Chris, Christian Souk was goal of the season. Records, Chris Natumba had three goals in one game. That set a record, and he also had three goals in a league match. Same game, uh, both records for the club. All right, well, let's see here. Don't see the budget yet. So let me plow through this, and then we'll be back when there's anything to look at. All right, here's our initial budgets. Payroll comes in at 976000 and a transfer budget just short of three million dollars taking a look we're at 745 with committed spending of 788 so we'll have a little less than a hundred thousand a month to spend and 2.9 so we'll have to sell some players probably to raise that we'll see what happens uh, we did make $7.8 million, but remember, most of that was prize money uh, at the end of the season. In fact, all of that was prize money. Uh, so we need to uh, we probably need to trim the fat a little bit. But we need to improve if we want to do better. That's the problem. All right, guys, we are back at the beginning of the season. Of course, uh, in the intro, you saw the season review. Let's take a quick look. We played some friendlies, a 3-0 win over Olympic Lyon, uh, Algero Nateb, Chris Natumba, and Guillaume Shedahal, all with goals. Those are all names that we recognize. A 4-2 loss to Standard Liège, Eric Biaud, and Timofey Stretelsov with our two goals. But we just got blown off the pitch in this one. A 5-5 shootout with our senior affiliate and league mates, Sparta. Uh, shed a hole with a brace. Pete Paul DeVries, Stratosov, and Christian Sook with the goals. Sook scored in the 90th minute to equalize. Uh, Radoslav Kosit with a hat trick in seven minutes, eight minutes. It was pretty ugly coming in in the second half. And then we beat uh, Ren 3-2, uh, uh, Vicario with a brace, and Souk with the game winner. We're going to be playing Go Ahead. I don't know if we're going to get to that in this episode because we do have to go through the transfer window. So let's take a look. We didn't do a ton of business. We probably brought it. We brought in a, a few players, but not a ton of business. Uh, we sold out 1.8, brought in 1.1, and if we flip back to last season, uh, let's see. We actually did bring in a couple of guys that I don't think you saw. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through a bunch of these. So, yep, let's strap in. Uh, at the end of the season, we sent off uh, Johnson Nar to Excelsior for fifty thousand, up to sixty thousand. Young player Baba Ofori goes off uh, on a free, as does Gregory Verzwesh, and those guys are all youngsters uh, coming out of contract or last year contract. Just not not worth anything. Young young players too. Uh, then we get into some of the bigger moves. Romain Boucher, who was one of our, not a key player, but he started a lot for us last year. He goes off to Cambor for 150, potentially 185,000. Uh, you might remember him. Not a bad player for us, just uh, down the pecking order, you know. Uh, Mike Brower had fallen out of favor last year. 
Uh, we brought him in two years ago, 250000 to Rhoda, sees him leave. Kingsley Moses, he was always like in the rotation to be the backup, but like second or third off the bench, just never played a lot. And he started getting really angry last year, caused a lot of problems. And so we finally got somebody to offer us, and he goes off for 450000 uh, Seth Kukins goes off for 195000 He was one of our young players, 17-year-old Dutch player. Again, so far down the pecking order, just didn't make sense to keep him, and we got you know more than his value. Uh, Jure Tan to Excelsior for up to 60000 another young player. Uh, then uh, Jean-Louis Sassane goes to go ahead for 350. He started a good, well, he played a good bit. He was a he, he was depth defender last year, but we brought in some new defenders this year, and I think that made him expendable. Noah Vandenberg, uh, I did like this kid. He was 21 years old, Dutch had had some potential, three and a half star, but um, again, just couldn't find room for him, couldn't get playing time. So he goes off to RKC for 120,000. Tim Opdan goes out on loan. I, you know, he's another younger defender, but no room for him to play this year. So we loan him out. And then this was a younger player. Uh, he is 16, and he is a more of a wing back. Can't really cross, so he's not a really good fullback for me or wing back on the back line. So. They came in with a nice bid for him. I think that's about triple his value. So we we let him go. Going back to the end of the season, you can see we brought in a bunch of guys at the beginning. Well, the end of the season. Uh, Ivanildo Conavilius from PSV on a free. Uh, he is 20 years old. Just, you know, he can play up top. He's got some decent finishing. Mainly because he was a Dutch player, I thought we might be able to get something for him down the road. Uh, here is uh, Ludigno Vicario on a free. Now he is uh, from uh, Curacao, which is, I uh, believe, from my game Sid Meier's Pirates. Curacao is in the Caribbean area, but it is a, or was, a Dutch province, possibly. Uh, he's trained at Villem, and he's got four-star potential. Uh, he can play striker. He can play the number 10, but he can also move out wide. Not much of a crosser. Decent enough passer, but uh, looking for him to be up top. Uh, five goals in four matches in the World Cup, and four in four for the North American Gold Cup, and two goals in his one match for us in the friendly. So, He's got some potential. Not sure he's going to be a starter for us, but we'll see. Uh, then we brought in uh, Tangui Vogel from Antwerp, 2.4 million, 25-year-old Belgian. And he is an attacking winger, left midfielder. Not good enough at finishing to play up top, but he's got pace and uh, good first touch, dribbling ability, decent passing. So thought maybe he, he would be a good fit at wing for us. Uh, Victor Hovath from Honved for four hundred and seventy-five thousand. Twenty-six-year-old Hungarian, more depth, more depth in the attack, can play several positions. Marcel Wooters, a free transfer, he popped up. This was uh, this was one of those signings I don't normally make, but he's very quality in marking, tackling. He can pass decently, decent crossing, and. I normally don't sign these type of guys, but we signed him to a two-year deal, and I looked at it that veteran presence. That's kind of what I was thinking about. He could start. He could come off the bench, but I thought he would be a you know a settling presence as a veteran, uh, you know, one of the older players. Robert Hossett comes over from, I don't know how to pronounce that, Zamax for 69000 21-year-old Swiss player. He can play right down the middle in the attacking half of the field. Uh, we've listed him out for loan. He's got four-star potential, and I think he's got some upside, but not this season. And then Jules Jagu, we picked him up on a free transfer. Uh, another left back, center back, possibly not at that height, though. So more of a left back fill-in, 
uh, to give us some depth. His arrival is what made Chesson uh, expendable. So we got him on a free, saved some money. And then getting into the heart of this season, uh, there's Jagu. Ken Jansen's we brought in from Fortuna for 325 Could go up to 575 Four-star potential. 21-year-old Belgian center back. I was just trying to strengthen the center back with speed and uh, you know heading ability. I'd like better passing, but I'm just having a hard time finding it. But he'll be depth for us. We may end up loaning him out, but he's he's going to be in the mix to come off the bench. Eric, I can't tell him. Eric Viad, Eric Viad. He's another veteran. Didn't really need another striker, but I said, you know, he can kind of do a job, but he can play both wings, and he's a decent crosser. So I brought him in to be competition mainly for the wings. So that's what I'm looking for from him. He's got one goal in three starts and has looked okay. Uh, Anton Toscolo comes in on a free transfer. He's a 24-year-old Ukrainian, and he plays down the center in the defensive half. I signed this guy. He came up on my uh, scouts, and he was a free agent. And uh, so I was like, wow. And uh, good stamina, good, you know, pretty solid here. The only thing he lacks is passing, and I'm looking at him to be depth for defensive mid. I'm bringing back the 4-3-3 or the 4-1-2-2-1, two, two, one, whatever you want to call it, with uh, two attacking wingers, one striker. Looking at that tactic this year, and uh, we've played it a little bit again over in the uh, other series, but uh, I needed to upgrade uh, that deep, that deep-lying position, defensive holdings position, and he can play very well in quite a few roles and heading, marking, tackling, all solid. I'd like a little bit better passer, like I said, but uh, he was really good quality for the price for a position I needed someone. We brought in Stefan Bruner from Baron Varos for 125000 He's a center back. Again, very solid all the way around. Acceleration's a little light, but he is young, 21 years old. Four and a half star potential. We have listed him out for loan uh, just because he is far enough down the depth chart. And at that age, I was able to pick him up on cheap. And most of these guys are all uh, youth players. This guy's not. Another veteran. And that was for that defensive or deep lying playmaker. Good first touch, solid marking, tackling. He can pass real well. Not the paciest, but he's got average acceleration. I think he could be in the mix for that position uh, with a couple of other guys. So, And again, I brought in two older guys at 32, thinking that might help settle the club because we are a pretty young side. And then uh, boy, Justiana, uh, he comes in. Uh, he's 33. He popped up real late uh, in, the, in the process here. Again, marking, passing, tackling, uh, missing out on the pace and acceleration. But he can also move up on the wing if we need him to and drop back into center back if we need to. Eight's a little low for that, but again, he's in his prime, some veteran leadership in that defense, and I think defense is where we really – really struggled last year. Taking a look at the finances, we're just over a million dollars a month, which is, I had to adjust it about $100,000 because we were originally set at about $900,000. And, uh, but, you know, with the sales, we've actually increased our transfer budget. We dropped it to get the higher payroll and then added to it with the sales. So, Breaking even, I guess, and you know the goal is to try to keep this positive. So if we jump into our team report and use our youth development, who is the better judge of ability? So we've got Case and Anachik in goal. Uh, they're saying go with the youngster. I did try to sell him. We got a low ball offer below his value, and I was like, yeah, that's not going to happen. He is on high wages, but. I wasn't going to sell him. He's too young, too good, too much upside. So I may go with him this year, but 
he's given up nine goals in two matches. And if we look at Case, he's given up. He's had two shutouts in two appearances, one off the bench. Sayud gave up two in his start. He got a start as we were rotating. In fact, I want to move him to the B squad just to get him out of the side. Uh, so that's what we're going to do there. We've got Jegu, uh, uh, Gaya coming back from last year, Wooters. Opdam is not at the club. So let's take the guys that are out on a loan. Uh, Vanderhorst, who we'd like to get rid of. Uh, Nateb, Banachek, Vanderhorst, uh, Gayek, Wooters in the middle. On the right side, Banachek, Nemeth, Vanderhorst, and Marichik there. Uh, Diallo, Slotboom, Toscalo. I don't think I showed you. Oh, yeah, we, we looked at him. He was the one that couldn't pass good. That's right. New name. I didn't recognize it. Uh, those are going to be the guys and Merrick in the mix for defensive mid. Diallo, Vogel, Slotboom, and Toscalo and Merrick in the midfield. On the left side, Vogel, Shedahol, Viad, uh, Reniers. On the right, Quasi, Natumba, DeVries, Shedahol. And up top, Vogel, uh, Viad, DeVries, Stretoslav, and Natumba. Now, I plan to probably start Natumba more up there that's my goal and then bringing uh vogel in on the left but shed holes there shed holes actually pretty good uh and then we're going to be looking at mitchell quasi on the right so that's uh that's kind of what i'm looking for in the attack and then uh, we're going to have to kind of parcel this together uh if vogel goes out on the left then that brings slot boom in if I let Shedahol start out there, which is possible, I don't mind him, uh, then we could bring Vogel in in the midfield. He's decent enough. He's got a lot of pace. He uh, has dribbling ability. So that's possible. We could look at doing that. But uh, anyway, if we're going to do a match today, let me check our time. I tell you what, we're at 23 minutes, and I know we were trying to shorten these. So let's go ahead and stop the episode here. Uh, so we'll, this will be the transfer special. We'll come back for the season openers uh, with our next episode. Uh, we'll look at go ahead on the highlights and the domination that is PSV who crushed us last time. We'll get to take a early, early look at them uh, on camera. See you guys for that. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think of the transfers. Take care. Bye.